Hi guys, welcome back for Boy in the Tower on Miss Goodman Story Time. Got my reading buddy, grab yours. Um, I hope you're enjoying this one. I'm really enjoying reading it. It's it's a lot to take in, um, but I'm definitely intrigued. Uh, so remember, Gaia had gone to the shops with Addy in yesterday's chapters, and they'd walked past the pub and thought that the bricks had a tinge of blue. Um, and then the news is starting to talk about perhaps the schools closing and there's been lots of deaths because the buildings have fallen. Let's keep going. Chapter 15. That very night, I watched the telly when they suddenly stopped the programme with a breaking news story. I'd been eating my dinner. Tonight I'd made beans on toast and I was chasing the last two beans round my plate with a fork. However quickly or slowly I tried to shovel them up, I couldn't quite get them onto my fork. However, um, however hard I tried. I was looking down at my plate when I heard the newsreader's voice. She sounded so anxious. We just heard news of another developing story: the growing number of collapse following the growing number of collapsing buildings in South London, which as yet cannot be explained. Two council workers were discovered dead at one of the sites earlier tonight. Both men were examining the remnants of an abandoned warehouse which collapsed only two nights ago. We are going live to Bill Franklin who is at the scene. The screen flashed to a man standing in front of the debris of a fallen building. It was the one guy and I had been standing in front of only a few hours ago. I dropped my fork and it made a loud clanging sound as it hit my plate. Thanks, Cathy. I'm just standing across the street from where the two council workers were discovered about seven o'clock this evening. They've been identified as Richard Layton and Frank Stewart. Both men are examin were examining the rubble when the warehouse collapsed and the alarm was raised when neither man returned home earlier this evening. We do not know what went on here tonight, but the police have cordoned off this entire area, as you can see behind me. Their deaths are being treated as, super as suspicious. Two large photos of the men filled the screen. They were both smiling. One of them had laughter lines around his eyes and rosy red cheeks. The other looked younger and had pale skin and light yellow hair. I recognised them straight away. They were the men in the yellow hard hats Guy and I had walked past earlier that day. Chapter 16 the news went on and on about the two men all night. Suddenly the danger was greater. These two men hadn't been in a collapsed building. They died because of something else. Some people were saying that they might not have had anything to do with what happened with the buildings. That it could just be a coincidence that they died where a building had fallen. Until they'd done something called a post-mortem, no one would know anything for sure. That didn't stop them from talking, though. I didn't put the lights on, so the room was lit up by the television. I stayed up late watching it, even though there wasn't anything they could really tell us. They just kept saying the same kinds of things over and over. It was the same as with the buildings. No one could explain why it was happening. So another really scary development for Addy there. They saw those two workers in that chapter we read yesterday, didn't they? On the way to their shops and on the way back, they weren't there. Maybe they were the last people to see them alive. I wonder, I wonder what's coming. These blutches. I'm intrigued. I'll see you tomorrow to find out more. Bye, guys.